Hi, this is David Chen. Today we're learning how to put Apple Time Machine on the Synology NAS system. From beginning to end, which is install a brand new blank hard drive all the way to enable your Apple computer time machine to find the Synology NAS system and enable it so you can start your backup uh, routine. First of all, I'm going to put brand new hard drive. It will show up as Desk 7. As you, you can see, I say not initialized because the brand new system is 4 terabyte Western Digital Red. And uh, I will show you how i only going to use 2 terabyte on this system. But first of all, I need to initialize the system and uh, create a volume on this particular system. As you can see, I'm doing it right now. And once it's normalized through the create a volume, we can create a share folder just for Mac backup. So going through this particular volume creation wizard, I'm using the brand new file system, BTRFS, even though that's only for multiple hard drive. But for this particular demonstration, I'm going to use just on a one hard drive. And if you don't have a hard drive just to do the Mac backup, you can just use on your original volume. You're just going to skip this vol uh, the volume creation section. Just install the, a share folder on your volume one or whatever volume you want to put down. As you can see, I'm in creating a share folder with the name Mac Backup. You can name any name you want or any uh, description you want. As long as your location is the correct uh, location, it will be fine. In this case, I'm putting down a volume to the brand new hard drive I just normalized. And I double check, make sure the enable advanced data integrity protections on and since this will folder will be just for backup uh, time machine i only allowed a administrator and mac backup user which i created for this demonstration to be able to read and write and the other users don't have access and uh, just looking through make sure all the check marks okay then I say OK. Now the share folder for Mac backup is complete. I go to user. The reason I go to user is because I want to make sure there's everything is uh, correct. So as I looking through, there's no major changes. Only thing that changes is the user Mac backup can only allow to use uh, the folder quota of a certain amount because Mac use the backup as a incremental the time machine it's an incremental backup so I want to limit the folder or the user maximum quota size otherwise depend on how you work how the user process the computer um, if, if uh, l there's no limit their possibility of time machine will use entire volume. So in this case, I, I will put down the maximum size. Then we go to control panel, file service to point the time machine location. In this particular section, the first tab, the max ser file service, I choose Mac backup, the folder as uh, the location. So when the Apple get on the system, they will look for the Mac backup folder to backup to. Then once you finish that, I, you can just go to the time machine, open the preference, select desk. And as you can see, the Mac backup folder just show up immediately. Then say use it for backup location it will show up enter username and password for the user so it will sense it's 
correct so you can use us uh, in the future. So I type wrong. So let me type in again, which is I connected. As you can see, I got a data section on time capsule because I do have a time capsule on first one. The second one is Mac backup, DS1A15. And I turn the time machine off and on again, just in case it didn't trigger initially because it happened once in a while. So everything's done. And right now, the time machine is go through the backend process for the first time. So just keep the machine on. It will store everything if you set up your time machine correctly on your Apple computer. Thank you.